Hi you guys, this is Jamie with Whatever's Clever Boutique and I am so happy you're here with me today. So today we're gonna start out with a 20 ounce prepped from Craft Haven. And I'm gonna take this super pretty vinyl that I got from Create by Firefly and I will have a discount code linked below. And I have this really pretty peach glitter. So long story short, I went through all of my glitters over the last, gosh, four years. I have collected so many different glitters. A lot of them came in mystery boxes, cup swaps, all sorts of things like that. And a lot of them I just didn't use. So anything that I hadn't used or hadn't even opened for that matter, I took and separated by color and mixed them all together. So I created a whole bunch of dump bucket glitters and I came up with some really pretty colors. So with that being said, I'm going to bottle up two ounces of each color and do as many as I can. And I will offer those up to you guys to purchase if you like them and it's something you're interested in. I just wanted to do something fun with these glitters that I just probably wasn't ever gonna use and figured I'd find a fun way to do so. So with that all being said, let's move to the cup now. You saw that I took my vinyl and kind of measured it out, trimmed it with my vinyl cutter, and then started applying it with my little squeegee tool. And I'm gonna take my new super cute teal cutter from Cami Page Boutique. She partnered with Mallory Pagnata from Made My Manny and Mel for her elite group, MBMM Elite. And we got to purchase these super pretty teal products. Um, so I cut the bottom off that vinyl there so I had a good seam. And I'm now going to measure using that center point where my vinyl met at the two and a half inch mark because I know that I want it to go five inches across the top where I'm gonna create my V. So I put a mark at the five and then the you know starting point of the measuring tape there. That way there was two and a half inches on either side. Now I'm gonna take my painter's tape and I'm going to create my V. So I'm starting the tape on that little mark I made with the pen and then just simply pulling it down to that center vinyl mark where the seam is. And I kind of hand up and this one a bit. It looked like it was a little bit off, so I kind of adjusted it until the V was to my liking. And then I simply just took my craft knife and cut the vinyl away that I no longer need. Now we're gonna tape off that bottom so we can start our glittering. So today I'm gonna to use glitter glue to apply my glitter. And I will say, I wish I would have mixed my glitter glue with some peach paint as it would have really helped with the glitter coverage. But because I didn't, I just went ahead and did two coats of glitter and that solved my issue. But if you wanna save some time, definitely mix your glitter glue in with some peach paint to get a good base. So I put that glitter glue down and then just sprinkled my glitter all over the V portion of the tumbler and then did the same on the bottom. I let that dry for two hours and then I went in with my second coat.
now for the super satisfying tape pull. <laughs> There's something about the super crisp, clean lines when you pull tape. It just, it's so satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> but how pretty is this glitter you guys like I can't even tell you how many glitter colors or peach glitter colors there are in this mix I would say probably 20 but it created such a pretty color overall uh, mixing all those together so now we're gonna go in after that other coat dried for another two hours and added some glitter glue over top to seal in that glitter so we don't have any glitter transfer when we epoxy into our vinyl portion. Now we're gonna go in with two coats of epoxy. At this point, I cleaned up my rim using my X-Acto knife and sanding block. And then I went in with this pinstriping tape to basically create a clean, fresh line over that V portion and the bottom seam of the vinyl and glitter as well. Being the perfectionist that I am, I didn't love that little leopard spot in the bottom there where that seam was for my vinyl. So I took this sheet because I didn't have any leopard print that matched cut out of vinyl. So I took this um, vinyl sheet that was printed on clear backing and just cut out one of the little leopard print spots. I believe this was from BAMP Custom Creations. And I placed it down on the seam there so you couldn't see it anymore. It just made my heart happy <laughs> knowing that you couldn't tell there was a seam. So I just kind of fandangled it. You can totally leave it if you don't, if it doesn't bug you, but for myself, it would bug me. So next we're going to go into a very sped up portion of me weeding this vinyl. I'm doing a double offset because I really love the effect that it gave on this tumbler. And once this is all weeded, I am going to start layering it. I got this super cute, you are exactly where you need to be SVG from Made by Manny and Mal Digital Collective. She has some gorgeous SVGs on there that you can purchase and just import into your silhouette and cut out on whatever color vinyl you'd like. I have a discount code I will link in the description below as well. Let's just go ahead and ignore my flyaway hair that keeps going in the camera there. I apologize for that. <laughs> now to apply it to the tumbler. I'm going to do the kind of hinge method like I do on all of my other tumblers. And I just have that one little edge exposed. The rest has the backing on it. And I'm just gonna line it up where I would like it centered in that V. And I kind of did an overlap onto the uh, black little pin striping that I had there. I just, I like the way it looked. If you want to make the decal a little bit smaller, that's totally fine. I just liked the way this looked and Again, each cup is your own, so you can do whatever you'd like. Take from this what you will. <laughs> but this is just my style, so. Believe it or not, this tumbler is almost done. So for my final coats of epoxy, I'm gonna add this Whisper from Create by Firefly into um, that final coat to give it a shimmer kind of all over the tumbler. I hope you love it as much as I do. These colors are screaming spring to me and I cannot wait. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and ask below. If you liked my video, feel free to subscribe, hit that bell button to be notified of future tutorials. And thank you so much for coming back week after week to support me. It means 
literally the world to me. I have created so many friends in this community that just make me so happy with what I'm doing and where I'm at at this point in life. I appreciate all of the support, the messages, the comments, all of it. I read all of them and I can't wait to see you guys next week. I have so many fun things in the works and I can't wait to show you guys. Don't forget to check the description below for all of the links and some discount codes. 